In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these really adorable and elegant place card holders that can also be used to hold pictures. So if you want to learn how to do it, stick with me and I'm going to show you. What's up fabulous and amazing glue dots? I'm Elaine the Midnight Crafter and in today's video the little place card holder picture holders that I'm going to show you how to make are super fast and easy and make a really beautiful gift and also I am going to be using them for my holiday table. I'm having people over for New Year's and my guests are going to each get to take those home with them as a little gift which I think is going to be kind of fun. Anyway, I would love it if you join the Glue Dot family by hitting that subscribe button right down there. It's that red box that says subscribe, duh. And if you hit the bell next to it, it will inform you every time I upload a new video. Also, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and please leave me a comment because I love getting your comments and I read every single one of them. And I do respond assuming they don't fall through the cracks, which is rare. But anyway, I think right now we just need to get to this project, so let's do it. As always, with all our projects that need painting, we're going to do that first. So I have my Rust-Oleum Metallic that I'm going to use for my glam pieces. So I'm going to spray two of these with the, that. And then I also have just a white, this one's Americana, use anything you want if you have chalk paint, whatever. And we'll paint our other two with that. I mean, you don't have to do two. I'm just doing two. You could do one, you could do 12. You can. Whatever. So anyway, I'm going to do that and come back. So while we're waiting on those to dry, we're going to start working on getting our tiles ready. Now, I got these tiles, I think, from Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. I've used a few of them already. So you can get whatever kind you want. These are square. They're probably about, oh, I don't know, two inch, inch and three quarters square. There's these um, octagonal ones. So whatever you want. Um, I'm going to be doing the square ones just I don't know why just because and I'm gonna be working first on the glam version so these come apart pretty easily they just have like this mesh glue type stuff behind them and you can just break them apart and then cut off any of the extra of this glue that's sticking out on the edges and you can use a, a straight edge razor is actually the easiest because you can get it closest to the the tile and cleaning off most of that glue. You know what? Maybe I'll do one of each just to. Um, I'll do. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'll just do. So for this glam style one, I want to trim the edges a little bit. So I'm going to be using this bling wrap. Um, I got this roll of bling wrap on Amazon, which the link is below if you would like to order a big roll of it if it's something you use a lot or if it's not something you use all that often then it's worth it to get it from Dollar Tree the rolls that they have so I'm going to cut a couple of pieces just to get around the outside here and using my glue gun I'm going to attach that all around that outer edge okay you can see what an easy project this is here are my two pieces already and the next thing we're going to be doing between our E6000 and our, well it's not E6000, actually this time I'm using the Gorilla Clear Grip, but either way E6000 or the uh, adhesive from Dollar Tree, whatever you want. We're going to be gluing on our brooches and these brooches I got from Totally Dazzled and I will also leave a link below for Totally Dazzled because Natalie has some beautiful brooches over there and the prices are great so if this is something you like to do if you're a glam style person and you like brooches for various projects you cannot beat the prices over there tiny bit of hot glue just to hold it in place while the E6000 dries I keep saying E6000 and it's not okay there's one 
Now we're just going to take our ribbon, of course this is my glam ribbon, the silver. If you have a theme you're doing, you want to add some color, that would be great too. You can change it up however you like it to fit your style. And we're going to tie a little bow. There's going to be glitter everywhere with this glitter ribbon. My husband hates it. He found glitter stuck to his steering wheel. <laughs> I guess the proof was that I drove his vehicle and I still had glitter on me and boy it did not it would not come out like it's been years it is stuck there <laughs> needless to say not the happiest about that I don't mind it I like sparkle but he wasn't so happy about that okay I have my bows I have my embellishment pieces. I'm still waiting on my silver clothes pins to dry. I'm um, so I'm going to actually while they're drying then work on the little more rustic in the farmhouse style placeholders. So now on to our country style farmhouse. I don't know what you would call these. They're a little more casual but they're really really cute. So I'm going to I have those pieces cleaned off. I'm going to actually put a little burlap um, ribbon background on one, I don't know, maybe both. We'll see how it looks and we'll go from there. I think I'll do one with burlap ribbon and one without just so that we can see a little bit of the differences. Now just know that the hot glue dries ridiculously fast on the tile because it's so cold. So you have to work really quick when you do that. So I've also got these little um, paper flowers which I got from Michaels and as usual I don't buy anything from there without coupons so you can do that. You don't have to use these paper flowers. There's a ton of them in a package and they have some really cute styles. Some of them even have a pattern on them like a print which is really cute so it just depends on what you want this one has some words that's really cute also that would look really cute on there I might do that and the other option is you could buy some Dollar Tree flowers and pull them off of the stems and go ahead and use those also I have some assorted buttons here which I'm gonna use as well instead of brooches like I did on the other one then I'm just going to glue a button in the center. I don't know, just, these are just random buttons. I okay, so I've got that one for right now. And for this one, I think what I'm going to do is, like we trimmed the other one, this one here with the bling wrap, I am going to use this jute twine around this one just to give it a, a little more rustic feel. Might go around twice, I'm not sure. We'll see because this is fairly thin. Now for this one I glue the flowers on. Um, I'm actually going to use a bit of E6000 as well as the hot glue because sometimes hot glue doesn't stick all that well to things like tile sometimes. And for this one I picked some just coordinating ribbon. You know what would be really cute since on this one here I used kind of that greenish blue flower so it would be really cute to do a coordinating ribbon. Um, I didn't have any that matched so I'm just going to use this beige ribbon that I have and get my bows ready. And since I actually have my white clothes pins right here, because these ones dried quick, make sure too that um, I should have mentioned when you paint these, don't paint the inside because then they're going to stick together and you won't be able to open them and you do need to be able to open them. I'm going to actually use a bit of E6000 and hot glue on this just for a little insurance that it will stick better and then just center it and attach it and then go ahead and attach your ribbon. So there's one and then we're going to go ahead and do the same with our other one here. So this is great for teenagers to give friends, you know, they like to exchange little gifts and teenagers love pictures, so it would make a nice little gift. So here's these little guys, and I'm going to go and get my silver 
sprayed ones so that we can finish up the glam ones. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get these glued together as well and then show you these all finished. If you're enjoying my channel and my videos, give me a thumbs up, but even best of all, share this video with your friends. It really helps my channel out a lot and actually I really love that. <laughs> So if you wouldn't mind also leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these. Do you like them? Is there something you would do different? What are yours going to look like if you make them? I'd love to hear and I love seeing pictures. So please feel free to post to my Facebook page. It's Midnight Crafter on Facebook. And then also you can send me an email at epmidnightcrafter at gmail.com. All right. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you these. Hey, I want to show you guys a nifty little trick I just learned yesterday. So you know when your glue gun is getting to the end here and it's not quite far enough to stick in the glue stick without it falling out on you, there's just not enough to hold it. So what you do is put a little dot of glue on the end of your glue stick, not too much, and then attach it right in there and hold it for a second and there you have it. Anyway. That's my little trick for you guys. Thought I'd pass it on because I thought it was really cool.